Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, in this tutorial session we would like to draw this drawer handle and as you can see we will make use of the symmetry around the uh, coordinate axes. We'll put the coordinate axes and the reference plane exactly in the middle of the uh, drawing and then we will start creating by creating different planes like parallel to the right plane or the plane ZY at the location of the first leg use a revolving command to create this shape here then copy the shape to the other side then create two more plane parallel to the right plane or plane ZY at the uh, right end and the left end draw the circle here another circle in the middle third circle to the right and then connect them using the loft command uh, the other thing also would like to cover also in this uh, tutorial session is how to create internal actual internal thread it looks physically exactly what is in, in the in the in the ex actual part okay so without a further ado let's move to the solid edge now we open uh, solid edge uh, using NC metric since the dimensions are in millimeter so now we're going to highlight the uh, base reference plane the reference plane the first step I need to create a plane parallel to the right plane so I'm going to click on the right plane I see the handle so I'm going to click on this one and move create a new plane at a distance 47.5 and so I created a new plane I don't need this standard anymore so I'm gonna uncheck them so now they are gone now I'm gonna lock myself to this plane so I'm gonna click on the line one of the drawer element then click on this one so I can get f3 I lock myself to, to this plane so all the drawing gonna be in this new plane I mentioned we're gonna undo this one now we're gonna go to the right plane and I'm gonna go from the top here I'm gonna draw the line up top here go vertical 25 25 enter that's good and then another 8 horizontal 8 enter enter then I will go up one millimeter one just to go up one enter enter and horizontal I'm gonna stop here just to do some other stuff so I'm gonna draw a horizontal line let me zoom to this area first very good okay okay some more so I'm going to draw a horizontal line. Let me lock this dimension. So this dimension should be 25. Good. And this dimension should be 8. Very good. I'm going to draw a horizontal line somewhere here. Leave it there. And make the dimension. <coughs> from the tip here from the point here to this line here this should be 5 I'm going to make it 5 now I'm going to draw a vertical line somewhere here okay and the distance between the line and this line should be three and a half. So I'm going to put three and a half. 3.5. End. So now I created the, the boundaries or the constraint. So this I can start doing the, the, uh, the other dimensions. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom to this area here in the bottom here. So I can start drawing the other shapes. So I'm going to go to line. 
make sure that we are still locked to the plane so now here go horizontal one I'm gonna say one enter and and then go up 0 0.5 0 0.5 enter and then go horizontal 1.5 1.5 enter and go vertical 1.5 enter and then <coughs> what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna draw uh, to, 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 oh, okay half a millimeter up and then one millimeter up okay so half a millimeter up okay so we're gonna go up half a millimeter 0.5 enter enter and then another one millimeter one enter and and then we'll stop there so right click to get out now i need what i need to do is i'm gonna go to uh, fill it click on this one and this one and move it to the maximum okay I'm gonna click on this one and this one and move it to the maximum okay now I'm gonna get a circle by center and the first circle diameter is 0.5 enter and I'm gonna go put it in the middle of this one here and then the another circle is one one enter and I'm gonna put it in the middle here okay now let me zoom or trim so I'm gonna trim from the outside here and this one here and then I'm gonna trim the inside I don't need it anymore and then I'm gonna get a circle tangent tangent circle tangent circle what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be tangent to this circle here till it touch this one tangent to this one I'm once I see tangent I'm gonna click now I'm gonna get the trim get rid of this one and get rid of this one oh get rid of this one okay I got the shape now I need to do the the uh, revolving so now here it is oh I need to get rid of this one too the extra thing here and the extra thing here and the extra thing here very good okay what I'm gonna do go to home uh, click on revolve highlight this face and make sure that this is 360 good highlight the face and then go to select right click and then select the uh, the see this is what becomes a highlighted the axis of rotation and this is axis of rotation will be in this corner here it is drawn let's go to the front view i'm going to reduce the size a little bit <coughs> okay now i'm going to bring back the uh, the right plane so here is the right plane and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight the drawing we just did highlight this one go to under pattern choose mirror around this plane here in the middle here once you click in the middle here you get the another copy of it to the other to the left side so now we're gonna say escape I got the whole thing together let me move it to the side here that's good enough reduce it a little bit okay now if I rotate it a little bit so I'm gonna tilt it a little bit like this way so now I have the plane this is the right plane so I need to draw a parallel plane two parallel plane to the right plane one to the right and one to the left of it click on the same plane here 
then the uh, the handle will come so i'm going to uh, click on the arrow to the right and then going to move to the right and the distance should be 65 and very good escape now let's repeat the process again again so here is the plane constant plane click on the same plane the right plane here you're going to see the handle you see the arrow i'm going to click the uh, on the arrow bone to the, but what i'm going to do i'm going to go to the left and under at a distance 65 i created a parallel plane but it is located under 65 so now we succeeded to create two more plane parallel to the one in the middle here i'm gonna go to home okay you see this right here now i'm gonna choose circle by center so i can lock myself so now first i need to lock myself to this plane here the one to the right okay now i'm gonna go to the right plane and choose a circle 115 enter and go draw it in the center go to home see i was able to create it here because i locked to this plane so i'm gonna remove the locking then i'm gonna lock myself to the back plane here you see i'm gonna click on this one now i'm gonna put the same diameter 115 one uh, 15 millimeter and go to the right plane draw a circle in the same location but this will be drawn what when i go to home it is drawn in the back here now let me go out of the unlock and then lock myself to the one in the middle see click on the one in the middle and put the diameter 9 okay so now let's go to the right plane and draw it in the, exactly in the middle here but it is actually drawn when you go to home you will see it is drawn in the plane in the middle here. so now i was able to get the, all the three circles so i don't need this uh, right plane anymore i don't need the the other plane and the other plane here okay what else we need? okay now the thing is just i need to unlock myself here okay now the next step is what to go to loft command so I go to loft command and i want to connect this one should be all right that's fine so we need to connect this circle and this circle and this circle and let's say preview finish yeah this is exactly what we are looking for so we were able to get the shape we want let me zoom more uh, okay the next step is what is to to create i'm going to just rotate it like this i'm going to make it uh, bottom i uh, to create the threads the internal thread so what i'm going to do is you go to under hole click on the the tab for the holes under hole the first command hole click on this hole so this menu will show up so i want to click on the physical thread so i can mm -hmm. see as a physical thread. say yes and now click on the menu here so you can see what is the command you want it to i want it with the v bottom angle if you don't want it you can just make it like this but yeah, i like it because this is how you draw it uh, you drill it so it's going to be this shape so i'm going to click this shape now i need to choose the uh, unsymmetric uh, standard threads you can choose with her and there you choose what this is the one a uh, for m4.5 this is the one we need to have and you can save it as a default so i save it as a default so when you open it automatically it will come the same now notice something here that the 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 whole depth is different from the extent of the thread so the whole depth is 12 millimeter till end here and but the uh, amount of finite extent of the thread is 10 millimeter so the amount of the thread is 10 millimeter okay so we're gonna say okay now you, you see this one here it come with me 
but I need to align it exactly to be in the middle. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to go come closer to this one. When I see the circle, I'm going to click. Now, oops, sorry. Now, so you go to the circulation. When you see a circle, but it's, it's concentric, I'm going to click. Good. Now I'm going to go to the other side here. I'm gonna go. When I see it's concentric, the circle are concentric, I'm going to click. Very good. So this way, as you can see, like, like let me zoom. Let me zoom. Okay. 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 So you can see. It. You see the circle here? It doesn't look like it's very, very smooth. So what I can do is just let me to make it very nice and smooth thing. Uh, just I don't need the lock now anymore. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to go to here uh, to the uh, application button, go to setting under option. There is a new menu came here. And in this new menu, I'm going to move it just to the side here so you can see the stuff here when it becomes better. So under view, the arc smoothness is 3. So I'm going to increase the arc smoothness to 10, for example. And I'm going to say OK. But notice the, 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 the circular here. When you say OK, see now it becomes very smooth circle and the threads looks very nice and it's neat. So we were able to, to create the threads, sorry, the threads on both sides and we got the shape. So now let's go to home and I want to choose the color I want. So the color choose is going to go to view under part painter. I believe it was a chrome. So it's this, the choose here, you can choose whatever you want. So I'm going to choose a chrome, click on the items here and then it becomes like this is a chrome color we are looking for so we succeeded to have the uh, drawing on the, the handle uh, the drawer handle and uh, it looks very nice and neat so here it is as you can see we learned how to do some uh, revolving we learned uh, lofting command and also we did how to do internal threads in the bottom here and how to look at the physical threads actually and how to color it <laughs> they, they choose the chrome, chrome material and so on i would like to thank you for watching the video and i would like to get your feedback if you like the video please subscribe to the channel click the bell and give it a thumb up have a wonderful day and see you soon on another video. Bye-bye.